Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello, future engineers and subscribers. Here is another problem on uh, trust. And I hope that you will learn from the explanations here and from the solution. You charge it from experience. And if you want to anticipate the solution to this problem, then you may do so by pausing the video if you are prepared to answer this trust problem. So identify zero force members and determine the member forces of DN, which is this, and DL. Also determine the vertical reaction at A. So the truss, it may be your first time to see this type of truss. And you observe the manner this is sold. Now for other types of trusses, uh, the other member would be inclined in the same slope as this. So you better watch out for that case. Uh, by the way, if you want to anticipate the solution, if you want, if you are ready to solve this problem, then you may do so by posting the video first. So always do that, especially those who want to learn or who want to be, who wants to be challenged. Always solve the problem by your own. That's one way you can surely say that uh, you are making helping yourself to improve especially in analyzing trusses so let's show first that the truss is stable and statically determinate so obviously this is a stable truss then the number of reactions external reactions is one here two here and another one here so r is four the number of bars is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 bars plus 4 so that makes it 30. The number of joints is 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 12, 14, 15. So 30 equals 2J, 2 times 15. So that's why it is statically stable and determinate truss. So that means we can analyze this truss. So let's put the reactions first. So RA, here we have two reactions, MY and MX, but MX is obviously 50 kilonewtons rightward as shown. If we sum up forces horizontal, then we have R sub I at I. So let's identify zero force members first. So at joint C, obviously CO is zero. Then here at joint E, EL is zero. At joint K, FK is zero. At joint G, this is zero, GJ. And since these are ruler supports, the reactions are vertical. They're vertical so therefore this AO here is a zero force member if you sum up forces horizontal at A this is also zero if you sum up forces horizontal at I so those are the zero force members so we begin by isolating this joint M here to analyze MN once MN is solved then we can isolate joint N uh, resolve MN into components, then obviously we can solve for both NO and DN, but NO is not required, it is only DN. Once DN is solved, we I consider this sectioning here and all forces to the left, and we resolve the force in components of NM, 
And these are the other two unknowns. This unknown here who is horizontal and it passes through B. This RA passes through B. So we plan to sum up moments about B to solve for the force in DL. And finally, we can find the force of that uh, member DL. Then same free body diagram and forces to the left of this section. We sum up moments about D to solve for RA. So that's the plan. So first at joint M, these are the, uh, the unknown forces. The slope of MN is 3 horizontal, 6 meters vertical. So 6 at 3 meters here. And we can reduce that to 3 is 1 and 6 is 2. So the hypotenuse is square root of 5 as shown. So again, 3 horizontal is just reduced to 1. 6 meters vertical is reduced to 2. So we divide by 3. So 1, 2. So that's why it's square root of 5. Summation for horizontal, we can solve for SMN. So 50 minus SMN times 1 over square root of 5, the horizontal component of SMN is SMN times 1 square root of 5 equals 0. So SMN is 50 square root of 5 kilonewtons. It is a tension member. Then we, by action-reaction principle, we put it here. Then that's the SMN. The horizontal component is 50 square root of 5 times 1 over square root of 5. So it is 50 kilonewtons rightward as shown. The vertical component is 50 square root of 5 times 2 over square root of 5. So it is 100 kilonewtons as shown. So therefore, at joint N, ON is 50 to be in equilibrium. Likewise, DN is 100 summation versus Y. The SDN is 100 summation versus Y at joint N. So we now have an answer. For SDN, it is 100 kilonewtons tension. Then, I introduce this sectioning here, AA, and we consider the free body diagram, free body diagram to the left of section AA, all forces to the left of section AA, and these are these are the additional unknowns, DE and DL, and let's have this FBD here to make it clear. So we have RA, then components of, of NM, 50 kilonewtons rightward and 100 kilonewtons downward. This is SDL. We resolve it into components. One is horizontal, which is not important because it passes through B. We plan to sum up moments about B so that this member DE and RA will not be involved, we can solve DL. So the vertical component of DL is, because DL is directed in this direction, 3 meters vertical, 4 meters horizontal, uh, sorry, 3 meters horizontal, 4 meters vertical, so hypotenuse is 5, or the length DL is 5 meters. So therefore, this is SDL times 4 over 5, as shown. Then we sum up moments about B equals 0. Then we have SDL times 4 over 5, plus 25, plus 100. All these vertical forces will have moment arm of uh, 3, 3, so 6 meters. This is 4, 3 meters, 3 meters. So summation moments about B equals 0, clockwise positive. SDL times 4 over 5 plus 25 plus 100 times 6, all these three vertical forces, then equals 50, the only counterclockwise uh, force, counterclockwise, the force with counterclockwise moment about B, so 50 times 4. So we can now solve for SDL, and SDL is equal to negative 114.6 kilonewtons, so it is a compression member. Then, finally, to solve for RA, we sum up moments about uh, about 
D equals 0. So that only 50 will have moment about D also. So RA times 6 equals 50 times 4. That's the moment equation about D. RA times 6 equals 50 times 4. So R sub A is 200 over 6 or 100 over 3. In decimal, 33.33 kilonewtons upward. So that's it for this video. I hope that you understood the explanation and the solutions. And you enjoy watching. You charge this, the solution to experience. It's, it's, maybe it's your first time to see this trust. But you look at the solution and the manner I solve it, it's very short. It only requires experience also.